Welcome back guys. Uh, to th this video was going to be dedicated to installing Battle.net and Hearthstone within the new Ubuntu 16.10 distributions and this should apply to all of the different flavors of Ubuntu that were released uh, today. So I'm going to go through this step by step with you and I've already t taken care of most of the preliminary steps but I'll explain those The first thing you want to do once you install and this is a this is Ubuntu this has got the XFCE uh, desktop environment whisker menu um, but this should be representative of any of the Ubuntu spins that were uh, released today so let's take a look step by step first step you want to update your system so if you if you're going to do it through the command line these are all of the commands that you'll need to run if you want to do it through the uh, software updater then just go to the menu click on that run the software updater and once you're done with that then you'll want to install uh, Ubuntu restricted extras so you the command is just as you see here sudo apt get install ubuntu restricted extras now there's a note here it all this will also install item number seven which is the microsoft fonts ttf ms core fonts installer so if you when you install ubuntu restricted extras you'll also get this dependency satisfied also so the next thing you want to do is install your uh, nvidia drivers or, or whatever your proprietary drivers are if necessary in the additional drivers and the settings menu so if you go to the settings menu and you pull up additional drivers you'll see that I installed my Nvidia drivers already and so that is uh, a prerequisite make sure that everything is running uh, properly from a graphics standpoint uh, I also in, uh, install Steam uh, just because I want to make sure I'm pulling in any 32-bit dependencies that are required. So it's just a safeguard and you can see Steam is installed. So that brings us to number eight. And so that's where I am right now. I'm going to go ahead and install those two packages. So I'm going to need the terminal and I'm going to cut and paste these commands in and I'm I'm going for the wine stable instead of the wine development version uh, the wine stable version usually works fine with wine tricks okay so I'm gonna go ahead and install that and that shouldn't take long now once that's done installing we're gonna run a couple of commands within the terminal um, regarding wine tricks and that should bring in the necessary wine dependencies to be able to run um, the installer file for Battle.net so we need to download the Battle.net installer file so I'm going to open a browser and this is the default browser from Zubuntu and I'm just gonna search on Battle.net and go to uh, game client I'm sorry I'm gonna go to cl download clients scroll down and click on the Windows version of the Battle.net app and you're gonna save that to your downloads folder once that does once that's done you can close your browser and wine and wine tricks is done installing and so what we're going to do is we're going to go to our downloads folder and I'm going to I don't need to see the hidden files so and let's right click the battle net setup and we're going to select open with other application and we're going to scroll down and hopefully there's a wine uh, and I don't see what I need here so I'm not going to use wine tricks I'm going to use a custom command and I'm just going to type in wine and
and prior to going through with the installation I'm gonna leave that right where it is and I'm gonna run those two commands the first one is gonna be wine tricks core fonts so we're gonna copy and paste that in press enter it's going to go through and pull in the Microsoft core fonts and install them within Wine because you're going to need those when we do this install. And so once that is done, normally it doesn't take too long, we're going to run the next Wine Tricks command, which is the VC Run 2015 command. Now, this process previously did not work well within Ubuntu but now with the 1610 version it works fine at least it has up to this point so wine tricks VC run 2015 and w once this is is go you're gonna see a little pop-up here once you see this pop-up you know it's working the way it should so just click agree and click install then click close. That's going to go finish the uh, the installation of the dependencies, the wine dependencies. Once that's done, we're going to close this out. And now we can continue with our BattleNet install. Now it's going to go through and pull in the BattleNet installation from the BattleNet website. You'll see another pop-up very shortly and then you'll know you're on the right track. And that's what we're looking for. So now we're going to click continue. We're going to add our desktop shortcut. And now it's going to install BattleNet. Now you want to make sure you let this process finish. Don't click on anything until it asks you to. And always select the defaults. And this should work fine. Now it doesn't take too long to install. We'll let it go through its process. And once this finishes, you will be able to install any of the available Battle.net games, whether it be Hearthstone, StarCraft, World of Warcraft. They'll all run fine. We're going to test it out. Once it's finished installing, we're going to test it out. As you can see, the icon has been added to the desktop. And now we've got our window to let us log in. Now the only thing this doesn't give you is the ability to stay logged in. That hasn't been working. As you can see that box is grayed out. But we're going to sign in to our BattleNet account. And it should sign us in and open the window. Now <clears throat> It's going to say we could not find any Blizzard games on your system. That's if you don't have anything installed. If you have something like Diablo or something like that installed, it will it will pick it up. Uh, here is just a new Blizzard streaming feature and some patches. We're just going to close that window out. And we're going to close out this window stating that it could not find any Blizzard games. As you can see, everything looks fine. We're gonna, I'm going to click on Hearthstone, because that's the game that I normally play. And I'm going to click Install. Now it's going to select the C drive, which is wi that's within your Wine program. You want to leave that just the way it is and click Start Install. It's going to download all of, the, uh, inf all of the necessary files from Blizzard. And it's going to uh, get your, uh, your, your Hearthstone ready to run. So I'm going to pause the video while this finishes. Okay guys, welcome back. And it looks like the uh, install has finished. Everything looks like it's ready to go. We're going to test it out. And let's see. So far so good. There you are!
back from your adventures? Okay, I'm just gonna <coughs> configure a few options. all we need. So I'm going to close this out and then I'm going to reopen it just to test it just to make sure. Right click the icon select execute and because it doesn't let us stay logged in we will have to log in with each uh, session. <coughs> I'm going to click play again. It opens in a window. We can reposition that window. I'm glad and you're here. We are friend. good to go. There's a chill outside. Okay, so I'm going to close this out again. Now, as I said, you can run pretty much any Battle.net game. You can in install Heroes of the Storm, StarCraft 2, World of Warcraft, uh, Diablo 3, you would. Uh, it does do a check to see if you have purchased the game so that one may be a problem and Overwatch um, still is not available online it's only PC, PS4 and Xbox One so that's it guys it's, uh, it's good news because uh, the new Ubuntu makes it much easier to install uh, the Blizzard games now if you have any questions leave them leave some uh, notes or leave a comment and I'll take a look at it and uh, get back to you hopefully with the information that you need and uh, <clears throat> enjoy your enjoy your battle net so guys uh, that's about it for this video thanks for stopping by the channel please rate comment and subscribe and I will see you soon take care